As you know, I'm going to Bonneville. I've just left for the airport. It's uh, I've been driving for an hour now. It's uh, around midnight. Plane leaves uh, 7.45 in the morning, but I'm driving electric and that's great for my daily commute. Not so great for longer trips like this. Certainly not when it's cold outside. So, um, so this is my first uh, charging stop and there will be at least one more, maybe two, probably two. Second charge stop. I'm in Oslo now, been thinking about names for the bike, uh, inspiration has been lacking. Uh, Moped Dick, ah, the Flying Norseman, maybe not so bad. Mm, my favorite so far is Experimental Test Vehicle 1. Okay, I'm in the airport, so uh, first challenge of the trip is uh, speaking in public to the camera which I find kind of uh, unpleasant as of yet I, I'd imagine that will change after this trip okay let's see if I can find my chicken and uh, get checked in here made it through security so now my mission is to find a bar so apparently there's no serving of whiskey or rum until one o'clock bummer fixed it not my first choice though better not. okay cleared security in uh, Heathrow now it's on to finding my gate and uh, I'm a bit late because or the plane was a bit late so I had uh, I'm in a hurry here so yeah Welcome to Bonneville. Here's the crew. Hi, I'm Jim. Jim. Dan. Dan. So these are the guys who have uh, put this uh, whole thing together. Basically, or Jim is the big... Uh, the, I'm not quite sure what you call it. I the, the, the original spark. The driving force, the spark for this idea. And uh, so I'm here, finally. It's been uh, two days of flying, almost. And... Um, we're starting to get things out, outside the camper here and ready to assemble the bike. is almost together and ready for a test startup. Don and Jim are uh, has gone out to pick up some food. Just admit I am uh, struggling with talking to the camera in front of people so um, that will have to change now as I will have to do that for the rest of the week. So that's why maybe it's a little bit strange now in the beginning. <laughs> okay I'll bring you back when it's assembled and ready for uh, for a first startup here in the United States. So, wish me luck. <laughs> Thank you. It starts, we were struggling for a bit there with getting it to fire. It uh, turns out we needed to purge the engine more than we thought at first. But then it fired up. Uh, sorry for not filming the startup. I forgot to turn on the camera again. We're now trying to find a place where we can test it on the road. bike is loaded on the truck and we're ready to start looking for a place to run it. I spent about an hour <laughs> assembling it. When did we start? At least Nine? Half an hour. At least half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's in the evening and we started this morning so it took much more than an hour. 
But it's ready, and we're going to find a place to see if we can test it. So we, we've driven a short bit down the road here, and we found a piece of road that's uh, not in use at the moment because the refinery is closed, it seems. We have not asked for permission, but it might be a stupid idea. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's an adventure. <laughs> A low battery or the ignition itself? Yeah, I think itself. there's not enough voltage, so it's uh, when it starts, the cylinder pressure starts getting high. Oh, there's well, not, not enough fire for a spark yeah. to jump. There. Right, right. Uh, I think that's the problem. I hope that's the problem. Yeah, I hope so yeah. too. It's a Saturday morning. I'm uh, I'm on my way to the toilet and brush my teeth. And uh, we're heading to Wendover soon. Wendover, the small city next to the Bonneville Salt Flats. And we're probably going to try some testing, try to perform some testing on the road there today to see if uh, the charge to battery helped. And I'm going to see if, uh, if advancing the timing helps, as I said, uh, mentioned in the last video. Here at the levels, long lighter what? Longer cigarette lighter. Take oh, okay. 22B on the right to yeah. I-80 West. We just arrived at the salt flats now, and as you can see, the conditions aren't exactly ideal. There's a lot of water, it's been raining a lot. Even when we got there, it was raining, but hopefully, it will dry up. In this is Saturday, and the race starts, racing starts on Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. So, there's a chance of this drying up. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> Sunday. And uh, yesterday we got the news that the uh, World Finals is cancelled for this year. So uh, now we have no purpose here <laughs> at all. We're, we're actually going to try test the, uh, try, te try some testing of the bike. Maybe out on the salt, if that's possible, or on some roads here. So And we're uh, trying to get a hold of tech and maybe we can get the bike teched for the next year's event. So, say hello to Travis, he's joined us. Hello. For nothing. <laughs> here for the good times. Yeah, for the good times. In the camper. So we're currently making breakfast. And it's kind of crowded here. Because somebody put a lot of bikes in here for some reason. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's a bummer. But we're uh, making the best of it. And next year, we'll beat them all. <laughs> I'll try to be slower with my panning here now. Done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slower with the panning now. <laughs> okay, we're all crammed into Travis's uh, van and we're heading out to the track to see if there's some people there 
from tech inspection preferably so that we can get it uh, looked at and maybe try running it. We just got out here and uh, you can see why they closed or cancelled the event. It's it's an ocean now. Yeah, the beach. <laughs> it's a lot lot more water now than yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can look here yesterday. No, it's not. That's pretty deep. The guys over there said that tech inspection should be here sometime in the day now, so we we'll probably won't wait for them or. So, um, this stuff, all this information here would come out of the rule book. Okay. Right? right, so if it's a A, uh, 50 cc is correct. Yep. Okay, so um, A, uh, gas 50 cc's AG 50 yeah so and then you would put the that classification the engine displacement the fan class here and then there's also codes that relate to those okay. that we can show you how to get out the, the book and you and you'd put those here and it's important and remember to ask the inspector right yeah. make sure because you know as a rookie right yeah. you're just here for the first time so you want to make sure that stuff gets filled out correctly and then you'd fill this area out yeah. and then at the end when we turn you loose you have to sign the release here and the inspectors will sign here yeah. okay um, make sure that your entry, num entry number and class designation on your number plates yeah. would be correct and then also if you have a driver's license for the motorcycle endorsement yeah do you have anything do from... You, do you have a need, because my only driver's license is for 50cc back in Norway. Would that work here? Yes. As it's held, Absolutely. Is, yeah, that yeah. is okay. Yeah. That'll work fine. Yeah. So you just want to make sure you bring that with you. Yeah. Right? yeah. And um, if, you get, if you get going over 125 miles an hour, yeah. <laughs> we'll give you an SCTA one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, on the front, you have a pin through the bolt yeah. and the nut. So it can't turn off. So it well can't to each turn other. off. But that can Theoretically, happen, yeah. you can hold the nut and the bolt can turn out. So we will have to do drill and safety wire this side too. Yes. Yeah, that or, or have a flat, a stop on the flat. Yeah. The uh, fuel shut off and what not. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, over, here. over here. It's, um, so we. I installed a solenoid because we weren't sure if we were going to enter the fuel class. Uh -huh. So there's a there's the fuel solenoid. Okay. And there's a fire sheet. Yep. Perfect. Around the unvalved portion there. Okay. And then uh, metal clamps and yep. rubber fuel line, metal clamp. Perfect. So, yeah. Taking a picture. You stand behind the mic. Sure. Sure. Being a fan, I gotta get a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Monday morning, and uh, we should have been in line for uh, for uh, entering the entering the event and the tech inspection now. But as it's cancelled, uh, we're not. But we got a tech inspection in last night, as you saw. Awesome of the guys to uh, to do that, and also pretty cool that uh, yeah, this uh, tech inspection guy was a fan of my channel, and I've been talking to him on mail. I didn't realize it was him. But uh, yeah, so uh, now I'm going to take a shower and we're probably leaving uh, for uh, Travis's place. He has a shop and a lot of bikes and cool stuff. So yeah, this should be really cool. Where's the camera? I don't want to step on it. Oh, you're okay.
that in the road up there? This hat? <laughs> I go get it. It is fucking fast. <laughs> yeah, it is. Awesome. Yeah. I just got a little taste of it there, but this came on the gonna, pipe. Yeah, it's gonna fly like. But now the clutch is grabbing, so it's uh. Yeah, but it's working anyway. Mm -hmm. It'll take some time to get it to uh, get it up to engagement. RPM. Yeah, but it's gonna be so fast, so fast. Uh, <laughs> at really slow speed, like when I'm just maneuvering it. Yeah, and it's kind of I hope almost blocky. fell over there. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry. But your wheel's not set. No, that, I forgot about that. We yep. should definitely fix that. <laughs> no, no, no. Let, me, let me see. You couldn't feel it though when, you were, uh, when I was yeah. riding. It didn't. It's a long wheel brace. So yeah, yeah, so, so it's, uh, it's forgiven. How much is it for sale? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to go 100 miles an hour on that thing? Yeah. We hope. There's got to be some yeah. serious drinking going on first before you do that, man. <laughs> Some serious drinking, right? Buy a lot of them. Yeah. Are you are you are you guys drinking first before you do this? Ah. You're not drinking first before you do this. We drink after. The gaster. Yeah. Oh my God, am I? Check that out, would you? Came all the way from Norway. Yep. Who's from Norway? You? That's You're not, from Norway? Yeah. And this is from Norway? Yeah. Yep. Built it yeah. in Norway. Oh Jesus, man. And uh, what's gonna race? What's the event was going to start today, but it's cancelled because of yeah obvious reasons. There's no salt there, there's water, too much rain. Who? Yeah. What were you gonna race? Uh, at the salt flats here. No, I mean, were you, were you gonna race something else? No, no, no. This for is a land it. speed record, yeah. Race the 50 cc land speed. Oh, so yeah, see how fast well, your top there's speed people is. that died out here recently, aren't there? Yeah. Have well, died. You could drown today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? Yep. That's like a little scooter thing, right? Yep. Yep. A hundred miles an hour. Now, uh, the record is about 90. So, more than that. That's the goal. goal. Okay. Uh, it, it produces quite a bit of power, even though it's small. Yeah. When I first did this, because I used to run this as an air-cooled engine, but I no. couldn't keep it cool on the no, salt. No. So when I decided to finally go liquid-cooled, I thought, okay, those Banshee guys, they've been doing this for a long time. I'll just follow suit. They're off in fucking left field. Those guys are trying to tune two strokes like four strokes. Yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. have a clue <laughs> oh, as to no, what they're doing. Too, too many no. wheels. Yeah, yeah, so I went into that, down that road and went, Okay, wait a minute, I'm just gonna go do my own thing <laughs> yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. But but you're smart. Yeah. I've been wondering about this. So what? you're running a tank, a water tank? Yeah, Not so I fill up this back section with water and ice. Yeah, the whole thing here? Yeah. Around so this is just a uh, like a it's heat an, transfer yeah, thing. Exchanger. Yeah, exchanger. exchanger. And yeah, then yeah. it has just a, this little pump, this cheap little okay, pump. Keep it circulating That there. circulates through and it just oh, comes yeah. back out and circulates. And the whole tank leaks and so it lasts about one run, oh, yeah. which is just fine. But yeah, so this plate heat exchanger, every, it's a two millimeter spacing. Yeah. And every other one is either engine coolant or, or this coolant. Okay, okay. So it's, there's a ton of cooling area. Yeah. I used to run two motocross radiators, kind of the same thing where I'd still Downing fill there. it up with water. Yeah. You know, so it wasn't, it was still a water to water exchange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that worked well, and I set yeah. a record the year with that. But then my buddy, who's a plumber, he came over one day and he's like, why don't you use a plate heat exchanger? Yeah. What uh, the fuck is that? I don't even know what you're talking about. But it works so slick 
And, and then I get rid of any radiator because I don't have any room for a radiator. Exactly, anything. I was thinking about the radiator now and it's in such a an angle yeah. and how to adducting and probably with and then with you're salt pushing and the, the wind and the drag so and all that stuff. So yeah, that works. I think slip. we should uh, and we need a tail section. It's allowed with a tail section in the yeah, A class yeah. anyway. And yeah. And I try to keep it on gasoline. I try to keep it under what say 140. Yeah. By yeah. the time I'm done with my pass, yeah. it doesn't work out that way all the time. But it, it if I've got That's everything to, right, then it uh, then it's yeah. 140. Yeah. If I can keep EGTs about 12. 90, 1280, yeah. I'm happy. That's on and the edge. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seized out there so many times. Yeah. I bet I've seized out there more yeah. than I Because I said kind of, uh, my limit was like 1250. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm aiming for 1250 because um, I know 1300, then it's starting to get really, really yeah. toasty. On right? this bike, it'll go 1290, 1290. As soon as I hit 1300, yeah. it seizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I mean, but it's that's so where you have weird. To be. It's that, exactly 1300. Yeah. Magic aluminum. But that's, yeah. that's where you have to be, though. Yep. That's yep. where you have to be. And I've been through, like, looking at that timing light going, oh, fuck, I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And back off the throttle a little yeah. bit, let it cool uh, off and, and keep on just, it. Yeah. And it seizes. Yeah. yeah. Of course, I love the RD stuff, so yep. and this one goes with me everywhere. I just throw it in the back of the truck, it always runs. It's kind of the bottom it's, edge. Yeah, it's nice. a, just a fun, it never gets any love, but it runs every time yeah. I kick it over. Nice. So it's, yeah, it's the, the great. And I got this track bike. Yep. And this is my long distance guy. Yep. And this is a. Uh, Another RD. This has this is an RD350, um, but it's got one of my land speed engines in it. So oh, it's actually yeah. like 424. Oh yeah. So it makes way too much power. <laughs> it's a little power, bit yeah. scary yeah, to yeah, ride. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was Wolf never meant to have that much power. <laughs> no. The first thing, because I originally built it with a 350 engine, just when I was starting to play with you know, two strokes yeah, and, and yeah. stuff. So I was just learning how to port, and it came out okay, and it made okay power. And then I did this, and the first <laughs> thing I did is I came home and put that steering damper on. <laughs> the front yeah. wheels always yeah, up in yeah. the air. Uh, uh, that and, was really cool. Yeah, yeah. And that, the Bull Taco I did maybe two years ago. That's cool with the two, uh, two sides. Yeah, thing, yeah. Man. Well, nobody oh. paints like that. I always try no. to do something that just fucks with everybody. Yeah. That's a lots of people bitch about that's it. That's probably can't paint bikes two dollars. <laughs> no, well, no, fuck no, you. Yeah. That's that's probably my favorite here. Yeah. It's, it's so so minimalist and yeah, slick yeah. and just yeah. And I I, I love old bull, bull, bull tacos. I think they're just cool. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. Simple and. So cool, fun. So you know. cool. And then this, I was, I was, was gonna run in the Arma race this year, and just awesome. ran out of time. Yeah. I got race rubber on it, and all it needs is if, uh, put the carburetors on. Uh, pipes are hanging up. I mean, it's yeah. ready to go. It just needs a little bit of time. Yeah, that looks fun. But I, my, my killer is always time. Yeah. I just never have enough That's, time to uh, do anything. I get so busy building parts for people that trying to do yeah. my own shit. And these are pistons in different states. Yeah. Wow. Most of them are, I think, scrap. I think these two are backups for what's in there. Yeah. So they don't have the trapped ring. But could you show me how you... Um how we make those rings? I was wondering how you yeah, so, machine those yeah, uh, tiny. What I did. So I just machined them. Yeah. And these ones I had chrome plated, but I haven't had a chance to finish them and try them. No. Um, but do, how but, do you make a fixture to hold so them? So what there? I did is I I made this fixture. So I machine them and cut them off. Yeah. And then I just break them. Yeah. And then I put them on this fixture, and this, I spent a bunch of time, I had to make, I don't know, probably 10 of these, maybe not that many, maybe six of them, yeah. to get the size right. And then I just bought a pottery kiln. Yeah. It goes up to 2100 degrees, but oh, okay. I only get these up to about uh, 1700. Yeah. So I put these in and I stack them all up, okay. and of course they're 
this one now is is set open yeah but you know really I've got to you know kind of press them on yeah. and then I just fire them up and then I just put a threaded rod in there and take it out and quench it oh, okay and then you're they're hard anyway. yeah and then I put them back in and then kneel them at yeah. a, like 500 degrees yeah, yeah. and I think that they and they have pretty good tension I screwed around uh, like the first ones I made were yours yeah I got done with the rings I don't know if I still have them yeah. and I made them yeah that thick Okay. And they were, had so much tension. I'm like, oh, well, these aren't any fucking no, good. No. So I remade it all so they have a less... Less, less uh, tension. Yeah, there, less yeah. tension. I think yeah. they came out pretty There's good. A little ridges here. Did you, so those are just machined on... Yeah, on and I just it. machine... I've just been manually machined them. And I, just, oh, yeah. I just cut them down and then Don't put touch. in a... a, a a uh, grooving tool yeah and, and just cut so that and cut that and then part it off yeah yeah nice so just beautiful business that keeps yeah the ring i just to, so, to flex or flutter or. well so the, the deal is they're trapped so they have this step if you can see that oh. on the back side so they're trapped in on that step uh -huh. so they only expand about 10 12 thousandths beyond what the bore size is so you can get rid of this is one of the liners out of that you get rid of the bridges out of the so exhaust because the, the ring is trying to fall strong, into yeah. it yeah but it's still uh untested it's still, it's still untested but now yeah, when i get back then uh yeah that case the pistons made, uh, work awesome yes so i'll just I'll, I'll have to end the video here because i'm running out of battery oh, but, yeah. uh, mark well, thank you for uh for your bet. time on yeah, the video glad you came by keep on keep on talking after this <laughs> after i shut off that's the what i meant Travis's shop in Colorado, and this is quite the shop. <laughs> so they welded up the vice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I should buy a new one. But I'll just wait to buy a new one until this one breaks again. Hey, it'll last. <laughs> did, it, did it break and you welded it, or no? No, it, it, it broke and I welded it. Yeah, that's that's blue I thought ribbon. it was junk. I'm like, well, oh, heck, I need this. I don't have time to go buy a new bike. So yeah. Let's just try and weld it. So these are mostly customer bikes, or are they hoarding? Um, most of the ones over here, unfortunately, are mine. Oh yeah. One, <laughs> two, three. Just three customer bikes. Oh yeah. <laughs> and there's the shopper. Whoa, that's a that's a real cool shopper. So this is what got you onto the, or flipped you over to the dark too, side. Yeah, too, too many wheels right there. Yep. Yeah. And there's an intercooler or a night radiator. Radiate, yeah, yeah, of course, there's no turbo in it. No turbo thing. yet. Not yet. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Amount of uh, vehicles <laughs> present in the facility. <laughs> keep finding me yeah they do especially the hondas especially the hondas i think i have a giant honda magnet yeah probably i like this little i would be so badass on a shopper like it would <laughs> wake up the worst in me yeah. i would be flipping off people all the time i'm just happy the whole time i'm in your shop i'm always happy awesome yeah how, how can you not smile. be like yeah 
the way to be. Ah. Oh, that probably shouldn't have that big shiny thing in it. So we're going through Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. If I'm not working on bikes all the time, which I never do, I don't know. Yeah, for some of the Really, the line. I yeah. cover it when I need to all the time. It hasn't. I've gotten so used to covering yeah. it on the 500 that it hasn't changed that. Because it's not something that Because I know we have a lot of wires coming and going and stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We need to clean up that stuff. It's yeah. a lot of um, it's messy in there. It will be a completely new harness now with everything going into one microcontroller and just that one red light, as Jim suggested. That just tells you, like. Full throttle, let off the throttle. And yeah. that I'm, should be. I'm a fan of accessible harnesses. Yeah. I would rather see a captured harness oh, going on the outside there. there. Yeah. yeah. Right. Exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just. Like if we make it really neat, that could be just as. Or maybe we could have it like tube. pushed up. Yeah. Under. If it is with the new fuel tanks and it just like bowed up to get the floor of that fuel tank, then it would yeah. like be. We do a little. I I thought I should do a better introduction of everyone here because I haven't really, and I was like too embarrassed of talking to the camera. So uh, yeah, Jim. So here's El Himador. Okay, so yeah. So this one might actually be the intro for this uh, whole thing, I think. And um, so we're at Travis's shop. Here's Travis. You probably know by now that the event got cancelled. So we're actually like preparing for next year's event now and uh, talking about some changes to the bike and stuff. So I thought I'll start with introducing everyone properly because I haven't done that yet. So first it's uh, El Himador here, <laughs> Jim. So Jim, do you want to like say a few things about I have, yourself? I have nothing to add, go ahead. Nothing, Let's okay. So up. Jim here is, uh, he's kind of the 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 driving force I'll do this yeah the driving force behind this or he's the one who started it all he's the one who uh, got us together and like arranged for this to happen so thank you Jim you're thank quite welcome yeah. I'm enjoying it immensely I'm awesome. so glad that even though the event didn't happen yeah it's it's just a really good experience oh yeah and, it's uh, you know we're going to be that much better next year having so. the best time of my life yeah. even though we're not even racing <laughs> and then there's Don over there. He's the criminal. <laughs> no, it's Jim's friend and uh, a great storyteller. That might be a good description. <laughs> and uh, he's also a, a holder of multiple patents at Snap-on. So is Jim, actually. So there's some uh, quite a bit of knowledge here. <laughs> Gather up. You want to add something, Don? Old timer creativity. Yeah, old timer creativity. Exactly, exactly. And uh, Travis, who are you? I'm the monkey. The monkey. Send me into space. Burnouts and donuts. <laughs> Burnouts, donuts. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm super excited to be with this crew. Humbled to be around uh, such experienced uh, people and, and talented people. And really, yeah, uh, stoked. thank you. Um, so he's the that's the pilot, because he's quite experienced in riding fast stuff. <laughs> I'd say survived yeah. a few monkey trips out into space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the crew. That's the crew. So now on with the video. I got beat by a freaking reaver. Stock <laughs> <laughs> shit. It's like yeah, I'm in like a four earlier this summer where I got paid to go drive a car. Yeah, those are right, cast. Check that and see if that should raise right my attention. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. That'll work. It'll engage oh, nice and do. like Dude, early. Save this one. We can just ease away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just put them here. What was that? No? I think it's in the splines. There it is. There it is. Okay. The belt on? Roll the belts on. Yep. Just like that. Douchebag 2.0. Don't forget the kitty litter to clean up the mess. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get right up into there. Yeah. It's like you have to have your legs outside. Yeah, which one? Well, I'm trying to avoid. 
it'll be close with my helmet. Yeah. <laughs> so I should probably at, at least extend the foot presses there. For you to... Yeah, maybe a few inches. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to be much, I'd imagine, but we'll see on my helmet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. You wanna wear mine? area out and just have that like you'll cut this out here yeah Just got back from uh, from our test ride, and uh, uh, the good thing is that it seems like it's the jetting, not the ignition. Uh -oh. Maybe it is responding to leaning it out. That's but uh, yeah. bad thing is that we broke the variator, which you guys warned me about. So sorry. Ah, come on. Here. No, it's actually not broken. It's uh, it's like a bushing, and it's just pull out of the out of the casting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, if we just lock tight it in there properly, not broken. Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. There's it on there. So you didn't even begin to. Nope. Nope. It's just been running here. First gear. Should go get him some green lock. Green. He'll deliver it. Of course. Yeah. yeah. What you doing there? Yeah. Oh yeah. What you doing there, Travis? <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Firing up the cooker. Yeah. Bushing is gonna melt. It. No, it's all aluminium. Everything oh. is on that that other thing. So we got. Four yellow cheeses, five Swiss cheeses, peanut butter, raisins, chips, salad, potato salad. Everything. Everything you could ever want. Yeah. And oatmeal cream pies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a little grubby. A little tougher to hit. Yeah. It's coming. All Sweet. Right. And it's Sweet. hot already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay to leave them out. And just put some of them right there. I would so. They were only like 10,000. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know how everything thing is. Yeah. Eventually, it beats itself up. Yeah. Over time, you just bite it. All the heat. Yeah. I think it tears itself. Yeah. 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 First little part looked a little loose and then it like, snugged up. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Should be good back there now. It's itchy bong moto? <laughs> yeah, it's itchy bong moto. Oh yeah. Badass. Badass. <laughs> there. Yeah. Nice. It's here. Oh.
are back from the second test run today and uh, still no still no uh, success there's uh, uh, seems to be ignition trouble uh, I'm gonna take uh, remove the switches or take the switches out of the equation and see if that helps that's actually something you we should have tried earlier on I think yeah. no and I'm just I like now with you guys it's okay but like before that I was I couldn't film with my girlfriend there like I would yeah. shut off I couldn't do it <laughs> so yeah. this has been like a major I've grown <laughs> through this <laughs> Yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. So I just pulled the top end here. And the ring is stuck. And that, that might have been the problem all along. Like, throughout this whole trip. Because probably that ring land got compressed uh, when I took out the rod bearing in, uh, like at home on the dyno. So I think maybe we've been chasing our tail with fuel and ignition all this time and it's been that it's like been dropping in and out of compression like the ring has been sealing and not sealing, sealing and at high RPM it's been like this Yeah <laughs> Yeah <laughs> I'm a merkin now Okay I'll replace the piston and we'll see how it goes And the big end bearing is going out again for some strange reason. I'm starting to think it's these cranks, these cranks, because this is the second time that happens. The same type of crank. Luckily, I've got an Artec crank now, the replacement crank. That's a different one. It's supposed to be good. So, yeah, tear down time. <sighs> Too much El Himador yesterday night. Ooh. It's so nice with the slip fit because then I can just put it in there. Mm -hmm. There's really no other way here than like using the nut and pulling it. Mm -hmm. But then there's force applied to the balls, which you're like not really supposed to do. But I think we'll just have to do that. Yeah. There's no. Beat it in there with a fucking hammer. Yeah, that's, that's probably not the uh, <laughs> best idea. It's here, maybe there. Okay. Yeah, put a wedge in there. Yeah, that would have worked. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can get at it. No, oh, it's too center. Yeah, or maybe, yeah. Oh, oh, drag, pull it in there. Yeah. Micro polishing. Micro polishing. If it now, no more micro polishing. No, ah, ah. but it Stuck. won't when you. Yeah, and you won't get it in there. And, when you heat it up, no. more. Find something else smaller. Can't get there late. <laughs> and still do Pikes Peak. Yeah. Uh, we could even drive early in the day and maybe have time. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see I'll tomorrow. Play, I mean. Like, we're up uh, pretty early, so we could. Uh, do some testing and see just see see how things go. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so 
I forgot to film it though. That's uh, <laughs> the bike is running like it's supposed to do now after replacing the crank. So that crank which caused the ring to to get stuck in the ringland. That's the that's what's been going on all week now. But now it's sorted. Now it runs. Now it raves like it's supposed to do. Yeah. So testing tomorrow. November and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked wrench diesel and auto. They stay pretty busy. They have so many freaking vehicles here. It's crazy. I look, Caleb, he, he is busy. You can tell that he's just always, nothing stays there for more than a week or two. Yeah. There's vehicles there at Wicked Ranch just been there since I've been here. Yeah. yeah, really back home where I grew up, it's, it's everything. Coal mines closed down. It's pretty, pretty scary. This hasn't crashed and it, it ain't shit. <laughs> <Again>? <laughs> Pick him up because he will crash over there. <laughs> Let's yeah. get this. Uh, we might as well just go ahead and load up, yeah, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All it right. flies. <laughs> it flies. <laughs> yeah. Load her up. <laughs> oh, that's something. The clutch, maybe. Yeah, I think my legs. Yeah, yeah. Leg hits it, 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 it just rattles. Well, it seemed like it was. Uh, it was good. Yeah, picking yeah. up some speeder. Yeah, I got it up to 900 in the EGT. E EGT, okay, still rich. And, uh, I had to let off the throttle. Yeah. Wide open throttle, it wouldn't, wouldn't keep oh. power. It was pulling. I think it's, it, feels, it feels very fast because you know, they're so low. Yeah. It, it need feels to. good though. And once you're going. <laughs> <laughs> need to like I'm sorry, I, sorry I crashed. Yeah, yeah, that's no problem. <laughs> that was the yeah, perfect thing to do. The, Jojo the circus monkey. You know, yeah, was good for We tested the. We should like dial in a little, like a little lean bit. it out a little bit, and I'll hand you the phone with the speedo on it. Yeah, and. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, we can't like. There's not much. Did you try using this lever? 
No. I'd like to see how it behaves. It so when it's, it's when it's in full rev? Yeah, that's like if you that should increase the RPM. Okay. But it's difficult because I don't know which at what RPM it's staying. Though. So it should increase the RPM if it's bogging. Now, if it's like say if like peak power is at like fifteen thousand five hundred. Yeah. And if it's like staying at fifteen thousand, you pull in on it to like right, like raise it up into the right. But now, now we won't have like we'll be missing. Okay. Like five horsepower probably because of that stinger anyway. Yeah. So it's not that important. It's just yeah, good testing. Yeah, and it works. Like actually, you can ride it. Yeah. That's yeah. A good thing. Well. Like, so, what's your opinion? Did it, was it feeling like a, like controllable and nice? Like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it handles great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably that it, like it wasn't my welding this time. It was a previous weld there, yeah. the earlier weld that broke. That's the highest stress point. It's yeah, the smallest section. In there. And now we're running like uh, I don't know. It's at least like a 20, 20 millimeter stinger hole there. Yeah. So it, that it, it won't make any power at all with yeah. that size there needs to be like 16 millimeters. I'll do some calculations. You could just weld it up and the next pipe I'll make, I'll, I'll like do the calculations again because I can't remember exactly how, how it was supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's stupid written all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn anything too fresh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no uh... Handsome gauge. Gauge. It's too sexy for this shop. Yeah. You should move gauge to another shop. Too sexy. Upscale shop. <laughs> Diamonds, gold floor, you know. Gucci shop. Gucci. <laughs> Rename you Gucci. Gucci Gage. Gucci Gage. <laughs> yeah. Well, everybody nicknamed him Perv. <laughs> Perv. Hey, Perv. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you like that, huh, perv? Uh, yeah, we might have Alex in the front. Right, yeah, it's, if you're better off in the front, I'll take the back. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna drive for a while. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, Don, you want to have the front seat, back seat? It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. Yeah. I can take the front. Okay, that works. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's good. All right. This is it then. The end. Till next time. Yeah. It's just sweaty. I'll do it like this. <laughs> really nice meeting you. You too. A great guy. Thank you, Travis. Definitely. Thank you yeah. guys. Thank you. The fun. That was Thank you for everything. Pretty good time, you know? Yeah. Next year. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna next be great. year we'll have more riding and less fixing. We're gonna bring them all to shame. Stay safe. It's all part of it. Yeah. Yeah.
break stuff, fix stuff. Yeah. I'm hoping now, like next year, I'll break most of the stuff at home and then, mm -hmm. like, not so much breaking here. Gage. But there will be carnage. Yes, yeah. carnage and glory. <laughs> carnage and glory. Hopefully, we won't have to steal any more parts of it. <laughs> <laughs> Big in the documentary yes. scene now after this. Yeah. <laughs> we failed at racing this. this yeah. Year. <laughs> if you want to cook, I'm. I'm happy to cook. Yeah, then I'm. I'm for that. <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah. We have potato salad as well. El Himador is cooking up some spam here. Good old spam. Yeah. <laughs> we got eggs, potato salad. Awesome. Camped just a few miles from uh, Pikes Peak. So we're going up there now. Just in a few minutes, I think, when everybody's up and ready to go. And that'll be a cool experience because uh, the highest I've ever been is. Uh, I think that's. I might, might be less than 2,000 meters. And Pikes Peak is uh, 4,300 or something. So that's twice as high as I've ever been. <laughs> it will be kind of cool, like driving up there. You can't do that in Norway. <laughs> bear, bear country. Bear, <laughs> yeah. It says there on the sign. Bear area. I think someone was eaten just two weeks ago here. There's a lot of wind here, so you won't be able to hear any, anything of what I'm saying out here now. Yeah, down tight. Yeah. <laughs> Pike's Peak. <laughs> Woo! It's cold here. Point and 
not in the clouds anymore, so I'm gonna go up there and see if I can see anything. It's a lot of wind. <laughs> so long. Okay, I'll walk slowly back down. This is kind of a neat town. Yeah, it's cool. They have a bar and they have a place to ride trials. Yeah, that, that's all. <laughs> all you need there. They got the health food and the fast speed. <laughs> yeah. Trials in the barn. <laughs> I think my bike would have been pretty shitty for trials. <laughs> like yeah. the worst bike ever. Trials. Very worst ever. Yeah. I think this bike was going to come off first. Yeah. Well, my, tri my trials bike would be pretty bad if I had That's been, too. yeah. Uh, let's wait one way to go. <laughs> Last supper. Actually, dinner. Yeah. 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 Ruby Tuesday. Well, we got you there a little early. That's good, I think. A little light. Oh, yeah. Okay, so passenger pickup. No, no, we want here. That's it then. I've uh, just checked in with uh, the flight from Denver to uh, Salt Lake City. So I'm kind of flying backwards here. That's because I meant to fly from Salt Lake City in the first place and it was easier and less expensive to just uh, get another flight than to, to change that uh, Salt Lake City flight. Anyways, I guess this is it. It's been a great experience. Best experience of my life. And we're going back next year. Best experience without even racing. Yeah. So next year, we'll be back with a vengeance.